Tanmay. I'm going to be talking about Haskell in production. Um, so just just before we get started, how many of you have actually used Haskell before? All right. How many of you have used it at work for doing something or have put something into production with it? That's great. One. Okay. Awesome. So um, that's you guys looking at me and Vamshi in skepticism. Um, my I'm Tanmay. That is that is Vamshi. He'll be doing a part of the talk as well. Um, the, the goal of this talk is to give you a brief overview of what the Haskell ecosystem is like um, and to definitely to, to convince you to give Haskell a shot for work stuff. Um, the idea is not to sell Haskell to you as a language. Um, that is something that you can do on your own time. Um, but here if you're worried about a certain kind of production, a certain production issues, um, maybe we can try to address that a little bit uh, so that you can definitely give it a shot. So our, our journey started about a year and a half ago, right? Um, and and what attracted us to Haskell was that a lot of big claims were made uh, by the Haskell community in general. And the, the, everybody who used Haskell talked a lot about Haskell, right? And in hindsight, that's probably one of the dumbest reasons to choose a language and go into production with it. But hey, at the time we were young and foolish and then we decided to go with it, right? Um, to, to, to give you a little bit of background about what we did with Haskell over the last one and a half years, just so that we can put the kind of um, stuff that we're talking about more in context and also for a little bit of shameless self-publicity. Um, we're Hasura um, and the idea is that we're building this new kind of back-end platform as a service, back-end as a service thing that doesn't have lock-ins but it sort of gives you components which are ready to use and these components are microservices. Um, the idea is to give you a bunch of components which you can use. Um, for building these components which are like say database and search that you need for an application, um, we used uh, Haskell for doing uh, for solving a bunch of core problems, right? Um, the first core problem is exposing a nice interface to you um, ex um, over or for rather for Postgres, um, but over JSON, right? So the idea is to give you a JSON query language um, that you can use from your client, and you can execute SQL against the database, but from the client directly. So that means that you need to compile these kinds of things. You need to understand select, insert, update queries. You need to understand permissions. Otherwise, obviously, it's not safe to contact the database directly. You need to understand relationships, etc. Uh, another part of what we implemented was uh, a programmable gateway, um, very similar to Nginx, um, but a more programmable Nginx, right? Um, very similar to an API gateway. Maybe you've heard of Kong and stuff. So before we delve um, deeper into Haskell, just to give you a quick um, idea of what Haskell looks like. Um, so first, Haskell is obviously functional. I'm preaching to the core here, but um, that's a small function that uppercases every character in a string. So I map the two upper function on a string, all right? Um, the idea is Haskell is also typed. So this is a way of specifying a type signature. So I say 